Yes, lads, it is official. Memphis to pay signs for Manchester United. Well, technically, it's not official yet because the uh, transfer window is not open. But as you can see in the picture here, lads, he is in Manchester United training gear, holding up their Manchester United kit. Yes, lads, he is a Manchester United player. As you can tell, I'm a little bit excited about this transfer. I just, you know... There's something about signing a world-class player. I'm not saying Memphis the player is a world-class player. He's definitely not a world-class player. But I get excited about signing players with potential young, watching them grow, turn in to world-class players. Like David Beckham when I was a kid, Ryan Giggs, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo more recent times. It is one of the best uh, things about football and why I love Football in general. So watching these kids go and turn into something simply amazing. Now, we have signed unbelievable fashion, I I'm going to say, because he was so close, apparently, to signing for uh, PSG, which he said himself. He said that, uh, you know, he was very, very, very close to signing for PSG until Louis Van Hout stepped in. I'm not too sure it was on the phone or if they actually met up and said, hey, kid, don't worry about PSG. Come to the Premier League. Establish yourself in one of the best leagues in the world. And uh, that's where he wanted to go. And ever since that phone call, he said he wanted to be a Manchester United player. Throughout this uh, rumours and all these innuendos that was going on, it was apparently reported that he was going to go to Liverpool or United. But uh, turns out Liverpool were never in the running uh, from the get-go, which is nice as a Manchester United fan. But lads, it's been reported for £22 million. Pounds which nowadays, lads, that is pretty cheap considering young talent these guys. As you can see, Raheem Sterling, you know, uh, Liverpool want 40, 50 million for him. So for 22 uh, million pounds for Memphis to pay sits well with me. They're definitely expensive, not cheap, but it does sit well with me. The lad this season in the Dutch League not only helped his team win the league for PSV in the uh, in the Dutch League, he scored 22 goals in 30 games in the league. That's, that is stunning. And not just that, in all cup competitions, he scored 28 goals in 40 games, which is unbelievable. But that brings me a question to myself, you know? Is he going to make it in England? The Dutch league, no offense to the Dutch league, but you're nowhere near as more competitive uh, as you are in the Premier League. You know, Is Memphis Depay going to step up? Are we going to see him continuing to see him scoring 20 plus goals in the Premier League? I don't think so. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I, I, I highly doubt that he will. Now, this is where this transfer potentially becomes dangerous. It's just as easily that Memphis Depay won't be a success at Manchester United as though he will be. And you just have to look at Adnan Yanaze. Two years ago, you thought, this kid is talented. He's going to be on his way. He's going to be doing dangerous things. This season, we didn't see him. And you, and, and you can argue, I don't want to admit to it, but you can argue he was a bit of a flop this season. Didn't work out at all with Manchester United. Now, is Memphis Depay going to become an Adnan Yanaze? Or is he going to be turned into a Cristiano Ronaldo for what, what Ronaldo did for United? As in, took came here at United, wasn't the best player, got developed into the league, got used to England, got used to playing the teams, uh, got used to the environment, and grew as a player. And we built a team around Ronaldo, and he won us leagues. Then he went on to Real Madrid. Is Memphis Depay going to be that kind of player or is he going to turn into a flop? It's a very hard one for me to say. Now, I would love to say, yeah, he's going to become the next Ronaldo, but that is, it's just, I don't want to compare him to Ronaldo because when Nani came, he was exactly the same. Does step over, oh, he's another winger from Portugal. You know, he's going to be another Ronaldo. And, and he was not another Ronaldo by any stretch of the imagination. I'm a Nani fan, I do like Nani, but he's no Cristiano Ronaldo. Memphis to pay, I'm excited about this. Louis Van Hal is another Dutch player. He's going to fit in well with the team with uh, Van Persie if he stays and uh, Daily Blind. So, uh, Memphis to pay, I'm happy. Happy to seeing the signing because it just shows intent. It just shows that Louis Van Gaal can make the signings at Manchester United. He can attract the big players. Something David Moyes definitely couldn't do. Uh, and, and to a degree, you can say Sir Alex Ferguson wasn't able to attract the biggest players in the world when he was at United. He always bring up the players as well. But Memphis to pay. 
Hopefully, lads, he's going to develop at Manchester United. Hopefully, he's going to set the Premier League by storm. I don't think he's going to do it like the uh, Alexis Sanchez did for Arsenal this season. By no means. But if we can see glimpses here or there, if he can develop his game, considering that we already have one Mata and Di Maria and these players already starting, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Memphis Depay. But anyways, lads, get your comments down below. I want to know what you guys think of Depay. Oh, sorry, I'm not too sure if it's Depay or Depay. You can tell me. Uh, uh, don't worry, someone will tell me what his name is actually pronounced. I think it's Depay. But Memphis, Depay, Depay, will he be a flop or will he be... Uh, Will he grow into a great player that everyone else seems to be think he is going to, uh, you know, become? I'm going to be interesting to hear your thoughts. So get your comments down below. I'll be definitely reading those. But anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Stay tuned for more videos. And by the way, the reason why I didn't have this video up, you know, a month ago when this deal, I didn't want this transfer, you know, to fall through and he actually signs for PSG. I really wanted to hold out this video until it was official. And technically it's not official, but hey, he's pretty much, you know, in Manchester United colours. So I'm happy with that. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace.